In part one of From a Log to a Bowl, we turned the outside of this bowl. Well, in the final part, part two, we're going to turn the inside. This is Bob Jennings from The Woodpile. Come along with me on my wood turning journey as we dream it, think it, sketch it, turn it, sand it, finish it, post it. This is a tool that every wood tuner should have. It's a homemade 3 8 long drill bit on a handle with a stop gauge. The idea is that you manually feed it in to the right depth. It does two things. It gives you a starting point in the center for your tool and it also identifies or establishes the bottom of the bowl so you know how deep to go. With your fingers you can do a pretty good job of determining the thickness of the wall, but you can't really tell the bottom with your fingers. Don't forget to use calipers, you don't want a hole through. It might be difficult to see here, but I'm holding the scraper off the tool rest. It's actually lifted at an angle, and it's only touching the tool rest on the leading edge. I'm much likely less to get a catch with only the leading edge of the scraper touching the tool rest. It gives me a nice final finish. Don't have to do as much sanding with this sheer scraping technique. Thank you. 
Working in the shop and operating machinery is inherently dangerous. Make sure you follow your manufacturer's recommendations. When it comes to dust control, you have to protect your lungs as well. I like to use a Trend Air Shield. I'm not affiliated with Trend, I don't get any sponsorship, but this Trend device is quite effective for controlling dust. It has a positive air pressure around my face, so I'm always breathing in filtered air. Well, there you have it, from a log to a bowl. We started with the log, we prepared the blank on the bandsaw, we got the rough blank on the lathe and turned that, both the outside and then the inside. Log to a bowl. Well that's a wrap for this video. I know you have a lot of viewing opportunities on YouTube, so thank you for taking the time to watch my video. If you have enjoyed it, please consider subscribing, and thumbs up and comments are always appreciated, so thanks for that. Alright, stay safe everybody, and we'll see you in the next video.